What are your top energy saving tips for this winter? I know it sounds patronizing, but number one, layers, thick socks, clothes, things like that. Because if you sat in your house with your shorts and t-shirt on and then you're putting on the heat in, it makes no sense. After that, number two, I would say the things that are easiest for you to do without spending a lot of money. Draft excluders, covering cla cracks on the floor if you've got old floorboards, seeing where there's any gaps near your doors and things like that. Um, after that, I would say curtains, things. When it comes to the plumbing side of things, most people have either a conventional boiler, which would be a boiler and a cylinder, or a combi. I'd say if you have a combi boiler, I would reduce the flow temperature of your hot water, I would say, to 45, because anything above that, um, you're at risk of scalding. So when you set that, you're wanting it to come out of your taps at about 45 degrees, so maybe 48, and then by the time it gets to you, taps it's 45 and um, for your radiators the most efficient flow temperature which is the water coming out of your boiler into your radiators would be 50 degrees and um, some 60 and that will reduce also the return temperature because it will go through your radiators heat them up then come back to your boiler and the flow temperature a lot higher than the return temperature which puts less strain on your boiler and last, it makes your boiler last longer so you're not having to put any get any repairs done especially in the middle of winter another one would be uh, your thermostat the room stat now so you can have now let's keep with near the bottom of so the timer um if you have your time set, if you know that you're getting up at work for work six o'clock every morning, make sure the heating comes on at 5.30 and turns off at 6.30. So those are the times when you're just getting up and you're getting out and getting yourself dressed, the house is warm. And if you're not in all day, don't have your heating on all day. And then if you get back in, say five o'clock, have the heating come on at half four and knock on it and, and have it off just half an hour after you go to bed or you can just have it on half an hour before you go to bed and uh, turn it off for half an hour after so then you've got that thermal comfort um i would then say another tip would be your actual home thermostat a lot of people yeah they find 19 degrees quite comfortable so that would be what we would say is a comfortable temperature between 20, uh, 19 and 20 degrees. If you set your thermostat to that, even if your heater is on, if the temperature um, drops, Hello. then the thermostat will knock on. But if the temperature is at 19 degrees, the, the boiler won't fire up anyway. But again, if you're using your timers, then you know that if you're out of the house and the boiler it gets below a certain temperature your boiler's not going to come on because it's it's not programmed to another thing would be your trvs which are the little valves on your radiator these so you would turn these like right right to tighten left to loosen <laughs> so yeah to if they're if they're not marked and you can't see the actual temperature you can reduce the temperature that way if you're not using a room then you can turn the radiators off in whichever room you're not using. Also, you can, I would say, there's other ways, but that would be like heat compensators. So then if it's below a certain temperature outside, then your flow temperature will change to make your boiler run more efficiently. 